Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 12.4 customer units of liquid volume and our essential question is how can you use models to compare customary units of liquid volume? Okay, so let's unlock the problem. Liquid volume is the measure of the space a liquid occupies. Some basic units for measuring liquid volume are gallons, half gallons, quarts, pints, and cups. And here we have one cup equal eight fluid ounces. So the smaller thing here is the ounces. Eight of them makes one cup. And we have one bind equal two cups and one quart equal four cups. And one quart, if you are familiar with liter, one quart is about one liter. The bars below model the relationships among some units of liquid volume. The largest units are gallons. The smallest units are fluid ounces. So if we look here, we have one gallon, which is equals to two one half gallon. So two halves makes one gallon and each half is two quarts. So the one gallon is one, two, three, four quarts. So one gallon is four quarts. And the one quart is two binds. And the bind is two cups. And each cup is eight fluid ounces. So the gallon is four quarts. Each quart is two binds. Each pint is two cups and each cup is eight fluid ounces. Or we can make it in chart like this. Gallon is four quarts. So from gallon to quart multiply by four. Then quart to pint multiply by two. The quart is two pints and pint to cup multiply by two. The pint is two cups and the cup is eight ounces. So cup to ounce multiply by eight. And for example, if you want from gallon to pint, so you have to multiply by four and then multiply by two. It's the same as you multiply by four times two equals eight. So one gallon is eight pints. And if it's from gallon to cup, you have to multiply 4 by 2 by 2. For multiply to 8, it multiply to 16. So the gallon is 16 cups. And from gallon to ounce, you multiply 4 by 2 by 2 by 8. So 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 2, 16. 16 times 2 is 128. So 1 gallon is 128 ounces. And you can do the same for quarts and binds. So for example, from quart to cup, you have here multiply by 2 and multiply by 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. So the quart is 4 cups. And from quart to ounce, you have to multiply 2 by 2 by 8. So 2 multiply 2 is 4. Multiply 8 is 32. And so on. So you can use this chart to solve any problem of today. And remember, if you are going back from the smallest one to the biggest one, you are dividing. So for example, from ounce to cup, you divide by 8. And from cup to pint, you divide by 2. From pint to quart, you divide by 2. From quart to gallon, you divide by 4. Okay, let's see this example. How does the size of a gallon compare to the size of a quart? Draw two bars that represent this relationship. One bar show gallons and the other bar should show quarts. Okay, so we said up here 
that the one gallon is four quarts. So I'll draw a big bar like this. This is four gallons. This is one gallon. And it's the same as four quarts. So I'll draw down here another bar, but I divide it into four. So like this. So each one of these is one quart. So here, compare the size of one gallon to the size of one quart. We said that one gallon equals four quarts. So one gallon is four times as much as one quart. Here example, compare measures. Serena needs to make three gallons of lemonade for the lemonade sale. She has a powder mix that makes 350 float ounces of lemonade. How can she decide if she has enough powder mix? So she needs three gallons and she has 350 float ounces. So we want the gallons to be in fluid ounces. So to see the three gallons are greater than or less than the 350 float ounces. Okay, so let's put our chart here. We have here one gallon equal how many cups? From gallon to cup, it's four multiplied to weight, eight multiplied to 16 cups. And the cup is eight fluid ounces. So from gallon two ounces you have to multiply also by eight so 16 cups multiply eight 16 multiply eight i multiply eight by six is 48 eight down and four up eight multiply one is eight plus four is 12. so 128 fluid ounces so one gallon is 128 fluid ounces you can multiply the 4 by 2 by 2 by 8. You get 128. And here we need the 3 gallons. So 1 gallon is 128 fluid ounces. So 2 gallons means you multiply 128 by 2. 128 multiply 2. 2 multiply 8, 16. 6 down, 1 up. 2 multiply 2, 4. Plus 1 is 5. 2 multiply 1 is 2, so 256 fluid ounces, and 3 gallons, you multiply it by 3, so 128 multiply 3, 3 multiply 8 is 24, 4 down, 2 up, 3 multiply 2 is 6, plus 2, 8, and 3 multiply 1 is 3, so 384. So one gallon is 128 fluid ounces, two gallons, 256 fluid ounces, and three gallons, 384 fluid ounces. Then we need to compare these three gallons, the 384 fluid ounces, with the 350 which she has. So these are 350 fluid ounces, and these are three gallons, which they are 384 fluid ounces. 350 are less than 384. Serena has enough mix to make 350 fluid ounces. She needs to make three gallons of lemonade. No, 350 are less than three gallons. So Serena does not have enough mix to make three gallons. And now for share and show, we can use our chart here. Okay, 
compare the size of a core to the size of a pint. Use the model to help. Okay, so one quart is how many pints? So if we look at our chart here, we will see that the one quart is twice as pints. It has two pints. So one quart is two pints. So here I write one pint here, one pint. So one quart is two times as much as one pint. Okay, number two, complete. Two pints, two cups, three gallons, two quarts, six quarts, two cups. Okay, so remember this. You have to remember the order. Gallon, quart, pint, cup, ounce. And four, two, two, eight. So from pint to cup, from pint to cup, we multiply by two. So two multiply two equals four cups. Okay, next we have gallons to quarts. From gallon to quart, multiply by four. So three multiply four equals 12 quarts. And then from quart to cup, from quart to cup, we have to multiply by two to get pints and then multiply by two to get cups. So two multiply two is four. So I multiply by four. So six multiply by four is 24 cups. So guys, remember this chart very well. Remember the order, gallon, quart, pint, cup, ounce. And remember these numbers, four, two, two, eight. Okay, hope you guys understand. And now it's your turn. You solve on your own questions. And if you are in my class, we will discuss it on the live session. Have a nice day. Goodbye.